Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPhone app demo for iGrade for Teacher by Zeisco. This application is in the education category and works on an iPhone or iPod Touch Best. Currently sells for $5.99. There's also a new iPad version called iGrade for Teacher HD that sells for $7.99. This is a top-rated education app for teachers that corrals all important student-related information into a time-saving and feature-rich gradebook application that is always available real-time. Here's the opening screen. Upper left is how you add students. Here is my student queue in a list format. Also in the upper right you have some sorting options as well as emailing all students and all primary contacts, parents most likely. And you can export all of the data into this application into the cloud into a free Google Docs account you will need to set one up. Back out of there we'll take a look at our students that I've created. We'll go into Val King down here at the bottom and I'm going to show you how to edit the students information and what the information screen input looks like when you're adding a student. This is the screen you'll get when you add a student. You'll get the name, classes they have, and you can select more than one. I'll add another one, reading. Once I'm done, go through, add a phone, email address, the primary contact's name, and if there's a secondary contact, you can do that as well. Now the cool thing about this is, again, you can email the parents and the students by capturing this information. Also in here, you'll see you can add a note or look at the notes for a student. Those are the notes I have, and I'll show you how I got those. Those are regarding attendance. But I can add a note here by tapping the plus sign, and I can put in an audio or a photo note as well as a text note. You can also change the date there by tapping there, and it takes you to a date slide wheel. Cancel out of there. Cancel out of there. So here are notes about Val's attendance. How did you get Val's attendance? Tap on the picture of Val in that area and you pull up an attendance menu here. And at the bottom you can see you have some options. I can put present here. I get present for the day and this is where the notes are kept for Val as far as attendance as well. You also have grades for Val. And you can go through here to the different assignments that she's had added to her and look at her grades and she's doing pretty good. Better in reading than in science and English. But you can go through there, tap on English, you can go in and see how she got her grade. It gives you all the information there. You have the grading categories over here on the left as well as the grades over here. And we can cancel out of there and go back and we'll head back to the list of our students. Now in virtually all of the spots you're going to have an option to export the information as far as grades and assignments and so on to Google Docs. Now that is the student button here on the far bottom left. We can go to assignments here and this is where you're going to create an assignment. You'll tap on the plus sign in the upper left and you can put a title in for your assignment like pop quiz. It's a pop quiz. You may not you don't want to put it down but because uh, well it is an assignment still. You can pick a subject name like uh, we'll say reading. When we're done with that we go to category and we'll say it's quiz. Class name we'll say reading and you have the date there and then by default you can put a, a grade in there and we'll just go with A and you can also weight these. You can go in there and add the weight information. They give you some tips in there on how to do that. Cancel out of there and those are assignments. Again, another thing about assignments, a lot of this stuff has different options like exporting, duplicate assignment, or duplicate assignment, as well as delete assignment. Cancel out of there, and we'll go back to the list of our assignments, and you can see through there what you have. You can see the number of tests, number of grades, and so on. Head to filters, and this is where you can slim down and filter out if you're looking for specific information for one of your classes. Tap on English Honors, you'll get that. Now, Advanced Filters also lets you do this in an advanced format using time, class, subject, and category. You can add that in here in the Advanced Filters section. Now, in Settings, there's a lot of information here in Settings as far as uh, adding new classes, subjects, as well as categories. You can do all of that here, and this will populate in your assignment area when you're doing that, so you can maintain and, and, and manage that here. Also, in the settings, this is probably the most important place for um, the application because this is where you back up and restore the application. Back up and restore the entire information that you've input here about all your students and their grades for a semester, a year, 
what have you. And I would suggest, according to the information I'm going to show you a minute in the tutorials, that you back up you know, regularly, and I'll show you that in just a moment. You can delete all students here and delete all assignments. Maybe you want to start over for the, the year, and you can also set a passcode for the application in case your iPhone or iPod Touch falls into the hands of a student. You can set a passcode that they'll have to know to access the application. So we'll cancel out of there and head to the tutorials, which is our last button on the bottom navigation. Now, this app has an extensive tutorial system because there's a lot to it. It's very feature rich and you can scroll through here and look through anything you're having trouble with. Also you can see the important tips which is one is make sure to do weekly backups especially if you have a large amount of data. Also backup and archive your data regularly every semester for instance to avoid overloading the application. That's it for this iPhone app demo. Until next time this has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps saying see ya.